Well, the long weekend has served as the perfect opportunity to get out to the beach and get out here on the waters. And if you're hoping to do that this summer, the city is hoping to make it easier. They've added three new business permits along the beaches for rentals. One of them is for bike rentals, and the other two are for water equipment, including this one here at the foot of Balsam Avenue. Now, many people are welcoming this new initiative and an opportunity for them to enjoy water activities here on the lake. But some people who live in this neighborhood aren't too happy with the location of this truck and its proximity to their homes. Our battle basically is with the decision made in parks without any council authority to give him that position. Oh, I've given them a number of suggestions anywhere where it's not blocking the view of tenants. He could conceivably go in front of there's a parks, little parks building. If he went in front of that, he wouldn't be blocking anybody. Anywhere further west where the beach widens out, where the nearest residents are close to half a mile away on the other side of Lakeshore, you don't get that blocking of the view. It's only this end of the beach where the park is so narrow and is used by local residents. She has a rental container. Now, residents on Hubbard Boulevard have a petition going to have the trailer moved. They say they've gathered more than 250 signatures, but the area councillor, Mary Margaret McMahon, says she brought this proposal to Parks Real Estate because of feedback she'd received from residents saying they wanted more opportunities for water activities on the beach. And they opened the tender process and got four applications, three of which were approved. She says the plan originally was to have the trailer located further down the beach, but because of rising water, they opted to place it on the north side of the boardwalk. We don't consult on everything because it is, you know, when it's city property and when it's um, Lake Ontario um, that that um, the city has the right to utilize their space as, as they see fit. Um, but it was definitely open and transparent. It was in my electronic newsletter. It was av well advertised um, through the city's processes. And, you know, it's just a balance of, uh, of enjoyment for the greater good. Um, but I, I would say with as far as views, there's it's not taking up the whole beach. It does feel like the beach is our backyard, but it's really Lake Ontario for everyone, for, for anyone, tourists, Torontonians, Ontarians, and so we, we need to be open to that. Now, there is one other group who wasn't too happy with this trailer parked here. The owner of SUP Girls, a group that offers paddle boarding lessons, wouldn't speak to us on camera, but she told us that she wished that this business had been moved further down the beach so it wouldn't impede with her business that has been operating out of a home here for more than nine years. Now, Mary Margaret McMahon says that uh, there are no immediate plans to move this trailer, but they will be reevaluating this at the end of the summer, and they could also add more permits along the waterfront next year.